What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you some of the latest news coming to Destiny 2 of the 1.2.3 update which drops at the end of the month. Now we know changes, well we know many changes that are already coming but details today are of new changes. But before we get into that guys, I am giving away a fully customizable controller every single month to be in with a chance of winning it. Simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below and enter the giveaway via the Gleam link linked at the top of the video description. Fast, simple and legit. Good luck you sexy bastards. Okay, so let's get into it and let's start with the changes to the escalation protocol and the rewards you earn and how they drop. With the 1.2.3 update, Bungie are adjusting the escalation protocol reward chances to be more deterministic. What this means guys is basically it means there's an increase and improved chance of you getting said loot available for that week the more times you actually complete the EP. I mean this is kind of a big deal as I know people who've ran the thing hundreds of times for a said weapon and still have had no luck. The amount of clip submissions I get sent in from people trying to get the shotgun for instance and get it on like the 100th run is crazy. I mean we wanted more grind guys but 100 runs for a single weapon is a bit excessive if you ask me. So I guess this is a good addition people. Guarantee you though you'll still get that one odd lucky person who gets what they want first time whereas the likes of me never end up getting what they want. Okay so moving on and another addition to the 1.2.3 update is something I have not really needed but have wanted since the game's release and that is the ability to preview sparrow contrails and spawn effects from our inventories. I mean I have no idea why we haven't been able to do this but when the 1.2.3 update lands we will be able to do it for sure people so that's good. And moving on an iron banner events after the 1.2.3 update will no longer have control point flags during the events but instead will be replaced with iron temple fire pits. I know it's only a cosmetic change to the game but it is pretty cool and it more so adds to the feeling of the iron banner event. Moving on and after the update if you have completed Orb of Advance's Mercury Forge weapon quests you will after 1.2.3 be able to directly purchase these from Brother Vance within the lighthouse. I mean this is pretty cool for the people like me who have dismantled a few of the weapons due to never actually planning on using them and wanting to make space for other weapons but since certain set weapon archetypes have been buffed and so forth some I wish I would have kept and I'm glad I can actually buy them direct now without actually farming Mercury tokens and hoping them to drop or from Cade for that matter. Okay so we're going to move on and the update will also be fixing the recoil for two hand cannons. The West of Sunfall 7 which is a verse hand cannon and the Trials Cold Sweat. Not that I actually realised these things had recoil problems and never actually used either of these but yeah they are receiving updates to fix these recoil problems. Also even the update, Momentum will be removed from Heroic Adventures. Momentum is a modifier which does the following. Health and shield regeneration stops when you are not moving, you have to sprint to speed up regeneration. While Momentum is in effect, health and shield regeneration are modified based on a player's movement. If the player is stationary, they are temporarily halted, indicated by the inertia status effect. The inertia effects can be removed by sprinting. This applies the Momentum effect. The momentum effect increases health and shield regeneration and remains in effect until the player becomes stationary. So yeah, that is that. Okay, so moving on and lastly, the Sturm Exotic Hand Cannon. It will be receiving a catalyst and it will be added to the game with the 1.2.3 update. To be honest, I didn't ever think we would see this thing. I mean, the weapon I used went through a video and it has major flaws, mostly due to the fact you need a legendary sidearm to make this thing feel exotic. It's a weapon I argue needs serious buffing to compete, and I stick with that statement. The weapon doesn't feel exotic at all. The drag the sidearm needed for this exotic, it requires you to get a kill with this sidearm, which is a challenge in itself, but doing so makes a stern basically a two shot kill. The idea is great in principle, the idea is great on paper, but just in reality it doesn't really work with the current meta. I was optimistic the catalyst and the masterwork might change that, but now we have details of the catalyst and how it's obtained and what the masterwork does, I don't feel that optimistic anymore. Okay, so when the 1.2.3 patch drops at the end of the month, the stern catalyst will drop via you killing any kind of enemies on the planet Nessus. So that's how it's obtained guys, kill enemies unnecessary and you'll get the catalyst drop for the stern. Once the catalyst is obtained, no doubt the drang will be a part of unlocking the masterwork, maybe getting 500 buff stern kills. 
but once the masterwork is obtained, the Sturm gets the following buffs, 20 plus range and 40 plus handling. I mean, I can see how these will benefit the weapon, I really can, but in my opinion, it still won't be able to compete with just said changes. The weapon suffers again from a super slow rate of fire, and the fact that it still seems the Drang will be needed for this to be relevant is disheartening. I was hoping for the masterwork to maybe allow you to use any special weapon sidearm, so at least you can use the likes of the Last Hope, a weapon actually capable of killing. I mean I know many people will be saying well that would be OP. The Last Hope is a machine, yes it is, but for this weapon to compete, the Sturm also needs to be a machine, because you have the likes of the Vigilance Wing, the Graviton Lance and many other weapons that kill so quick, and I don't really see them going away. Weapon changes of such are truly needed to the Sturm, but that's just my opinion people. But yes, the Sturm, the catalyst to it, will be obtained from Nessus upon killing enemies when the 1.2.3 patch drops at the end of the month. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video and I am out. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like truly helps me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.